You've got a date this Saturday. A date? What? I got onto Siobhan. Me and her, you and Rachel, hitting up the cinema. Are you serious? Rachel actually said she wanted to go with me, like. Well, I mean, I didn't actually speak to Rachel. Siobhan sorting it. Okay, okay. Well, class, what's on? Well, it doesn't matter what film's on you, Spanner. Dark room, back row, could a hole in the bottom of the popcorn box. No one actually does that, do they? Well, I mean, they don't actually do the popcorn box thing, but it's just a bit of wee hand shandy in the cinema. Everyone's doing it. Siobhan and Rachel are well up for a man. See you tomorrow. A date? With Rachel? Fucking right. But what if she wants to touch my ball? She'll freak out and probably tell everyone. Mum, get out! Jesus! What are you doing, Mum? Calm yourself down. There's nothing I haven't seen before. Give birth here for Christ's sake. Mum! All right. Just keep the door locked in future. <sighs> Fuck's sake. What now? Hurry up. I need to shave my legs, meeting Danny. Can a man not shit in peace? That's no way to talk to a lady. You'll never get a girlfriend if you carry on like that. Piss off. Shit. How do you speak to a girl on a date? Is it just normal chatting or what? Look, there's no rules or anything. Neve and I just get along. Just any advice you have, please. All right, but give me a hand, would you? First thing, buying the snacks. Popcorn only. Stay away from chocolate. But I'm a Malteser man. Aye, and I'm mad for a bag of mint arrow bubbles, but I gotta stick to popcorn. You buy a bag of chocolate, it gets all over your hands. And next thing you know, you've got chocolate stains all over a white jeans. And then she'll be calling you shady fingers, Mick. Popcorn's grand, sure. Especially if you share. Gives you more opportunities to brush up against your hand. Next thing, hand-holding. It's important not to get trapped. Trapped? Right. You're in the cinema. She's sitting next to you. The film starts up. Your hands are very close together. You probably should reach out and hold it. Right. Yeah. How long do you hold it for? Oh, just for a while. Well, you can't let go. She'll get offended. So now you're stuck holding her hand for the whole film. 120 minutes of your hand just getting sweatier and sweatier and sweatier till she thinks you've got some sort of sweating disease and it's contagious and she never holds your hand again. So how long should I hold her hand for? Well, on average, I'd say... Um, I'd say you tease it for the first half hour, then hold it for the next half hour. And by that point, you should be kissing. And you just keep kissing for the rest of the film. Shit. <laughs> right. Unless... Unless what? Well, unless there's a sex scene. You know, if there's a sex scene, you have to start making out immediately. That's the rule. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Right. I better go. Uh, my dad's picking me up. Off to the driving range. <laughs> I thought you were with Neve this weekend. Oh, no, she's not well. So. Look, you'll do great, Mick. Just remember what I told you, and everything else is common sense. Clean shirt, like deodorant. And uh, you might want to shave. Do you know how to? Just I know your dad's not around, so do you need me to show you Fuck how? Fuck's sake, Connor! I know how to shave. I've done it loads of times. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, right. Sorry. Well, um, fresh shave then.